If you want to improve the author box on your WordPress post, I have the solution for you. It's called Simple Author Box, and it gives you all flexibility of creating a nice looking author box. So let's go check it out right now. What's up, everyone? I want to show you Simple Author Box, which is on a lifetime deal right now. And it starts off at $39 for the lifetime deal. Plus, it has a 60 day money back guarantee. You get 10 sites with this lifetime deal. Now, Simple Author Box will give you the flexibility of adding a box to your post that makes it look nicer with sharing links with latest posts, etc. And you can modify all the aspects of this. All right. So let me show you Simple Author Box right here. So basically, I already installed the plugin and I've added the license and I'm good to go to start editing my author box. Now, before I show you this, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. They have shared hosting plans that are really affordable. So if you want to check them out, the link we provided in the description. Now, if you go to hosting, web hosting, I'm going to show you how to apply an extra discount coupon code. So for this one, I'm going to select this one, the business plan, which is the most popular one. And once you are here, Hostinger is going to ask you how many months do you want to pay in advance? In this, I recommend 48 months. You lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you're good to go for 48 months. And if and to apply the discount coupon code, this is the current price. But if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master, and apply it, the price is going to drop to $172 with 37 cents. So use my coupon code. Okay. To modify the author box right here is practically really simple. And I really like that they have a lot of flexibility and options for this. Okay. So first off, you're on the visibility page where you're able to view how this is going to look right now. They have is John Doe and the grayed out image, but it gives you an idea of how the author box is going to look. Now, one of the things that I do dislike is that you have to save it to preview the changes. Okay. Now, in this case, I'm viewing a ton of icons right here, but these icons are added when you add the user's social media accounts. All right. So the links to it, then you'll be displaying these. So for example, here I added four links and they're displaying right here. So it doesn't display all of them, right? For the visibility, they have a bunch of options like manually insert simple box author box in a different place. So for example, right now it's automatically added to a post. But if I want to add this somewhere else to, for a page, maybe I have a membership plugin where I want to add this. Well, I have the short code or the PHP code for this. In this case, I'm not going to do it, but you have the option for it, right? And there's several options for this to add it before content, after content. By default, it's after content, but I've added it before just for testing purposes. And a lot of more options here. So I wanted to apply to post only, not the rest of the pages, show author box on categories and tags. In this case, no, but you have the option there and you can use a custom biography here. All right. So save settings and this will update. Okay. So that's for the visibility options. Then you have your elements. So in elements, you can display the author email. In this case, I don't want to do that. You can display social icons in a new tab, which I think is a good idea because you want them to stay on your page and go to social media also. All right. And hide the social icons on author box. So if you want to hide them totally, just go ahead and enable this and it'll, they'll go away. Even if you have the links over here on the user. Okay. Next you have the appearance settings. So you got your margins for here for outside the box and inside the box. I recommend uh, you tweak these, the top and the bottom one. For example, I have added 21 pixels for the bottom one because it was really close to the actual content. Now that's just for testing purposes. Okay. Then you got your avatar image size. So the size for this 100 pixels for now, but if you, you can change that. Now you can see that it's like cut out because I've selected the fancy one, but you could change it to ellipse, square, circles, speed, etc. It also moves. You can rotate effect for the hover on, which I'll enable that. Show author website. So in this case, no, but you can enable that also. And you got a lot of options right here. You can even change the background image so it doesn't look plain and simple right here. So you can add something really nice there, maybe some gradients, maybe an image that has to do with the page which is a, always a good idea, right? And some other options like rotate effects and social icon hover over the use flat long shadow effects. Now I'm, I'm going to turn that off because I didn't like it. So there's a little shadow effect right here, which I think is too harsh in my opinion. They should add a way to reduce that, right? So I'm going to save this for now. Let's go ahead and refresh it. There we go. It removed this and now we have that little movement on the image. So you see that it, it can do several things here, all right? Then you got your author box tabs. Now, in this case, I enabled the tab for the latest post, which I think is pretty cool because it gives you more options in the author box. OK, so you can choose the title show tab for the latest post, which I've enabled. That's disabled by default. The title for that, you can see um, latest deals in, or latest post, whatever you want to add there and your color settings. OK, and even custom HTML. Then you got your color settings. Again, they will take them from your default theme. But if you want to customize them, you can do so here. Themes, they have these themes available right here. In my opinion, I think this should really make better themes. They kind of look 
oldish. Okay, so maybe something nicer would be cool because if we have a thing that looks really nice, we can go ahead and select it and just avoid going through all the colors and all of that, all right? Typography, if you want to change it up, you have the options here. Guest author, if you want to enable that for enable guest author. Advanced settings for export, import settings, and your custom CSS if you want to really customize the look of this author box. But it's pretty easy to use, and you can find this plugin here in Appearance, Simple Author Box, once you install it and activate it, right? So I think it's a really great way to display a better author box. And for this price, for 10 sites, for a lifetime deal, I think it's a good deal. Now, do consider there's a 60-day money-back guarantee. So in case you test it out and you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. And before we head on out, let me show you. Go into Users, go to Edit User, and this is where you're going to add your image and the social links. If you don't add social links right here, they will not display here, all right? So do consider that. And that's a wrap for this deal. And if you plan to grab a hosting plan, don't forget to use my coupon code. And that's a wrap.